Danielle and interpreter with Royal Botanical Gardens here today to talk to you about maple trees. But actually I'm not the expert when it comes to maple, so I want to introduce you to John Peter. He is the curator and manager of plant records at Royal Botanical Gardens. So John, thank you so much for uh, joining me today. Now talking about maple trees, oftentimes when you think about Canada, you think about maple trees or the maple leaf. So why is it that Canadians view the maple leaf or maple tree as a Canadian symbol? Yeah, well obviously the number one reason is that the sugar maple or stylized version of the sugar maple leaf is featured on, on our Canadian flag. Uh, what a lot of people might not know is that it's also the national arboreal emblem of Canada. Um, there, there's about 150 species of maples native throughout the world, mostly to the northern hemisphere, and, and a major concentration of them in Asia. Uh, but we do have 10 species of, of native maples to Canada, and they're obviously very economically important and ecologically important for us in Canada. So today we're here at Rock Garden and when I walk around I'm noticing so many different types of species of maple trees. They're everywhere. So John, how many different species of maple trees do we have in our collection at Royal Botanical Gardens? Yeah, we have about 267 individual trees across RBG Gardens. That uh, represents about 24 unique species and a total of 106 unique taxa or unique types of maples. So each cultivar is a unique taxa. Uh, here's a unique one. Uh, this is Acer gingerbread, uh, a very unique, another trifoliate leaf maple with some amazing cinnamon colored bark. I had no idea we had so many different types of maple trees here at Royal Botanical Gardens. Now John, I can imagine there are some maple trees featured here that have really unique features and special kind of characteristics that stick out. So what are some of your favorites? Yeah, well actually uh, I'll start with an iconic tree in the rock garden. This is a Kore Korean maple, uh, Acer Pseudosibolbiana. Uh, you know, it's, it's the backdrop to many people's wedding photos for, for many decades of Rock Garden's history. Uh, so this is a very unique species. We also have uh, a whole bunch of different Japanese maples and full moon maples, uh, Acer japonicum and Acer palmatum cultivars, as well as, uh, you know, the unique moosewood or striped maple. Uh, which is a native maple, but not that common in southern Ontario. You know, we could talk forever about this, but there's trifoliate maples, Acer manchuricum, the Manchurian maple, uh, Acer triflorum, the, tri the three flowered maple, and of course the paper bark maple, Acer griseum. So within Rock Garden and across RBG grounds, we do have a, a plethora of, of unique uh, leaf types, colors, shapes. Uh, whatever you can ask for in a maple, you find it here. Wow, those are some really unique features, John. I had no idea there's so many different colors and shapes when it comes to maple trees. Now, one of my favorite things to do is to go for a walk at, in some of our nature sanctuaries. And when I go for a walk, I often see lots of maple trees around. So can you tell me what are some of the native species that we have around here and what would be the most common species of maple trees? Yeah, so that's a good question. There's there's a number of, of native maples uh, in our nature sanctuaries and throughout Ontario. I would say the most common is the sugar maple, uh, probably followed by the red maple, and also a silver maple that uh, kind of fills some niches in some unique habitats. You know, you're also going to find, unfortunately, in some of the na nature sanctuaries, the non-native species like Norway maple, Acer platinoides, um, and, and then throughout landscapes you'll find lots of Japanese maples and, and Norway maples and, and even some hybrid maples like the Freeman maple. So for anyone who might be interested in maybe growing a maple tree at home, what are some tips or suggestions that you might have, John? Yeah, it's a good question. So definitely you want to choose the right plant for the right spot. 
So look at your soil type, your exposure, uh, your sun and wind exposure, um, and, and how much moisture the soil receives and things like that to choose the right maple for the right spot. Now wherever you can, choose a native species because that's going to be the most adaptable to our conditions. Uh, but, you know, if you're interested in an ornamental Japanese maple, uh, find the right one, the right form, the right color, texture, whatever you're looking for to suit your space. Uh, you know, it's important to, to apply the proper planting techniques when, you're, when you have found the right tree in the right spot, plant it properly. Uh, maples are notorious for, for having girdling roots and, and things like that that uh, minimize their lifespan. So uh, it's important to, to follow the proper planting practices. Refer to the Ontario Landscape Tree Planting Guide for proper planting techniques and follow the recommendations in that guide and you should have good success with maples in your landscape. I've learned so much about maples. I encourage you to come and check out the maple trees that we have here at Royal Botanical Gardens in our rock garden. Go for a walk. Go check out the maple trees maybe around your neighborhood too. And don't forget to go check out RBG at Home where you're going to be able to find a whole bunch more educational videos. Until next time, hope to see you again soon. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, John.